Oh, oh, that's a great <laughs> sound effect. Yeah, we're halfway through the season pretty much, almost, kind of. And so we want to know whose stock right now, in these guys' opinion, is going up. Players, coaches, everybody, you guys, go. Let's do I'm it. I'm going to chill and walk. You made me wear shoes for this, Lou. I'm wearing Let's do it. Too, but... I got my, you know. Alrighty. I'm styling and profiling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. All right. Who's leading this I thing? I think, Lou, you're up first Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll lead us. First up, I got Cam Thomas of the Brooklyn nice. Nets. Started 21 games this year in those 21 games, Ooh. averaging 23 points a game. Also, what I'm most impressed about Cam Thomas, earlier this year, he said he was willing to do whatever it takes for this team to be successful, whether it's coming off the bench, whether it's to be a starter. I love the attitude of a young 22-year-old guy who's trying to find his footing in the league. One of the best scores, one of the best young scores. So my stock is going up on Cam Thomas. I love and Cam Thomas. Ain't sh funny with Cam Thomas. He's all business. Cam Thomas is someone too you can plug on any team, any system, and he is a bucket getter. I love that pick. Mine, a little more obvious than this. I like Jalen Williams. He's been an absolute stud ever since he was drafted 12th out of Santa Clara. He made the huge rookie year last year, and now he's even made a bigger jump this year. He's averaging 18.6 points, four rebounds, four assists. He's arguably the most versatile player. If Shea wasn't on this team, he is their go-to guy. He leads them in fourth quarter points. He's tied with Luka Doncic in the fourth quarter, uh, with 14th in the NBA in the fourth quarter scoring. So he's been more most consistent. He started 42 games. He plays a lot of minutes, plays 32 minutes a game. This kid is a bona fide stud, and he's going to be an all-star one day. I love it, man. Considering he's one of those pieces from that, that young core, he gives them, gives them another look. Like you said, he plays very up-tempo, perfect fit for the Oklahoma City Thunder. I'm buying stock in this 20 one. 20-plus point games, 19 times this season. He's had over 20 points. Fire. Kid's yeah. a stud. Now the other way. He's good at TikTok too. Now we're going the other way. <laughs> no, hold on. Oh I no, got we one, got one more. Hold on, I got, I got oh. one more because I want to, I want to show, I want to show love to one of my young rookies. This is my, this is one of my personal rooks. Very good kid has an opportunity to play. I'm, I'm buying stock in Jalen Johnson. Jalen, stay off of that rim. Nobody's safe under mm -hmm. there. He's always a rim threat. Eight, listen, 18 minute uh, increase in minutes being played, and he's taking full advantage of him. Last year, he was averaging 5.6. This year, he's averaging 15 and eight. Quite possibly, and he's shooting 50, 55% from the field. Quite possibly one of our most improved players candidates. Yeah, when you look at a jump like this from five to 15, I think that is the most improved player. This kid has made such a leap. You can clearly this summer, he spent time. He's always been athletic. He plays above the rim, but now he's putting a little more you know, skill to his game. He's shooting 55% from the field, which is outrageous for a wing. He's not forcing everything. He knows his role. He's defending. This kid also buying high, high stock in him. The jump from year to one to two has been really impressive. It's three, is it two Jalen's in a Now, two two bad here, Michelle. Stock down. Oh, we're doing bad. Okay. I'm oh, going. Three. Three By the way, there's a lot of Jalen's. Wow. I think we hit every Jalen. There we go. Jalen, Jalen Green. Look. Listen, I think this kid, number two pick overall in the draft. The Rockets are struggling. They're three and eight over their last 11 games. I think everyone expected this kid. When you look at his numbers, they're still very good. This kid is extremely talented, but <clears throat> when you see the, 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 the decrease in points per game, you never want to see that. You want to see young kids have jumps. You want to see them continue to rise. I don't think he's in the great situation where he doesn't have a, you know, a lot of structure. I think Udoka is going to help him eventually, but this kid, he's, he's a high volume shooter. His field goal percentage is down to 40%. He doesn't really get his other teammates involved. So this kid has the talent to figure it out and be an all NBA type of guy. But you just, I wanted to see a jump from him. So I'm, all, I'm off him right now. You gotta find it, you just gotta <laughs> find a rhythm. You know, when, you, when you're dealing with a young player and you put so much, put so much stock into him to carry a, a, a organization, he has, to, he has to find a way to create better opportunities for himself on the offensive end. Shot selection is gonna be a problem for him. Gotta mm -hmm. watch some film, find his spots on the floor where he's gonna be successful. I think he figures it out, but right now, stock is going down. And, and with that being said, I'm going to go out to the Bay Area. The person oh. that stock is going down for me is going to be head coach Steve Kerr. We've seen <laughs> so many highs with that organization, wow. so many highs with that coach. Now, at this point, that what we're seeing now, we don't love it. Every time we're seeing coach on, on screen now, it's a complaint about the referees. The body language is bad. This team hadn't gotten, gotten it together, so I'm losing stock. I'm going to sell. I agree. When you look at you look at the, the situation at hand, all the drama, all the theatrics they've had, a lot of that does fall on the coaching staff. Coaches are consistently fired for what he's going through. So I do think 
that see everything he's done for this organization. He's one of the greatest coaches of all time, but I don't know how much longer he has here with kind of this season, how negative everything is surrounding, how frustrated he's been. Uh, yeah, I think the stock here is going down, but again, I think he'll have a, a, a safe we, job anywhere Usually else. we see him make really, really good in-game adjustments. He finds lineups that works, that's successful. He finds those diamonds in the rough, those young guys that he can put out on the floor. He's struggling with finding that with this particular group. It's just not a good look right now. You heard it here. Stock's going that's down, a, stock's going that's up. That's tough. That's a tough one for me. I don't like that. You don't like Steve Yeah, I don't like Steve I, I don't, I don't like it either. I, that's I, not I really an easy job coach. for anybody. It's I really not. enjoy watching Steve Yeah, Kirk you coach, wouldn't wish but, that. You, know, he, you wouldn't he wish that share. job upon anybody. Has to share the blame. All right, fair enough. Uh, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to take a look at tonight's Timberwolves Thunder matchup. Run it up, run it back, run it back, run it back.